Aloha, it is me, Lisa Trenton and Brown, and I'm going to do a video on seeing other dimensions in the Um, yesterday I had to go into town, and energies uh, of the day um, sometimes are very tricky. You never know what you're going to get, which is going to go. You always got to stay open. And that's one thing that we all have to learn to do. Just stay open. Expect awesome. Expect the unexpected. And to look for what's different. Now, yesterday when I went out, I was like, wow. It's one of those I'm on the wrong planet kind of feelings. And this isn't my world. And I realized the veils had been put back in. Now, cool part is we're aware the veils are back in. We're not unconscious anymore. We the, That world out there looks different uh, than we are used to. As we expand in light, vibrationally, our physical bodies upgrade in light. And our consciousness expands from the old limited dimension that we used to live in into multiple dimensions and many of them and this is cool now when the veils get put back in color changes it, it looks uh, different and i'm walking around and it was really odd because it was as if i was back on another planet in the wrong place space but I realized, and I've done this before, how much the typical human can't see our world. Um, how much isn't visible. How drabby it is, the color, is, or, or the old colors. Um, and, it, and it's interesting. This will happen um, to show us things so that we can uh, remember certain things so that we can help others. Uh, if we can't remember, we can't assist others. So, yes, when you leave the old dimensions, old earth, the lower realms, whatever words you want to use, uh, all a uh, different version of, of another truth, um, or the same truth, you cannot see that old world anymore. It does not exist. It's gone. Um, and the physical world does look very different. And... The limits, it feels just very odd. And so, now I walked around and going, wow, if I had not seen my world, I would not know this one existed. If I, or my world existed, if I had not been living in all of these other dimensions these years, I wouldn't believe it. There's no way to comprehend the world we live in physically and how it looks. Um, other than, and here's the point. Sorry, that sound got me. It scared me. Yeah. We don't like crawling stuff on this. Yeah, this ain't cool. <laughs> Sorry. I realized that in order to even get here, our mind has to open up. And I remember the days when my mind was closed, when I lived in not one box, but a million of them, because I don't do anything small. I do everything to the extreme. Um, when it came to jumping into other realities, I did that to the extreme too. When I get ready to counterbalance a reality, I will do that to the extreme as well. Uh, we like uh, to jump a whole lot. Uh, we don't tend to um, prefer the old ways anymore, so we will completely counterbalance uh, our realities very quickly to get them into alignment because as we do, the physical world will realign in response, and that's what we've come to get used to. So, now, the difference between the old physical realities and New Earth and now Earth 3, which is still become, coming in and out 
um, it's it's more of a merging of that consciousness as well, um, so that um, the physical world can uh, change in response to that. Um, plane and antimatter and, and black holes and um, all kinds of cool things lately has been quite interesting. Um, with the activation, that I'm going to hop around like I always do, of course, of our three, and then our job, um, what is to actually transform everything into light. Absolutely everything has to be transformed. And this means every word, every everything, every exchange. We have to hold the highest frequency even more than we did before and, and not um, lower, if, for, for lack of another word, uh, to an old uh, mentality, um, belief system, um, energy, frequency, whatever you want to call it, reality, um, not participate in the old. Uh, we have uh, collapsed a whole lot of structures. We have collapsed many things. Um, but in that collapse, um, the physical world uh, will collapse out there. Uh, in response to that, this is all of us doing this. So as it collapses, as it collapses, if, if we go back into participating with the collapse, then, then we go around in this loop that never ends. Um, changing Earth. You come to live on New Earth, and you don't have to go back anymore. You come to live uh, in a very different place. Uh, realities are very different here. And it, it, you don't physically go anywhere, but yet you do. Because technically you're teleporting back and forth. You're going through portals. You're arriving on the other side. All kinds of cool stuff happens when you open up uh, to what isn't visible in, to the human eye. I know I started this video uh, for a purpose. Uh, but y'all know me, I just kind of talk about whatever comes up and out. And now I don't even know why I'm talking. <sighs> Alright. Many say that I'm in this world. And all the stuff around me. And, and it's rough. And I don't want to be here. It, it's really important to understand that you... We all had to do this. I had to do it too. Um, I had several recently say to me that they were in certain physical locations with certain circumstances that were very challenging um, and that they were ready to go. Well, we don't get to go. No, we do. We can always go. Uh, but the purpose in being there is so that we can shift to a higher vibration and maintain that vibration of love. Maintain. Now, we don't have to interact on a daily basis or in every moment, but we do have to be able to hold that, that space, that frequency, and that connected place inside without losing that when we're challenged by the outside world. It will continually occur until we've mastered this. It's a part of mastery. It's a part of remembering uh, that we can actually change our physical reality, um, but it's up to us to shift intentionally. Now, when we meet with challenging circumstances, uh, then our job, if you will, is to realize, wow, this is a challenge on purpose because my job is to raise to a higher vibration and hold it. Hold it. Don't give in. Don't go back to the old way. Don't participate. Don't play in that old illusion, that old play that was mine. I needed it before, but I don't need it anymore. I am supposed to hold this new vibration so that this old reality can go. Now, if you meet resistance, and resistance is what comes up in you, then that is the point. You have to look at your own resistance and figure out what's going on with you. When we can let the resistance fall away, when we can relax, when we can realize, wow, I almost got caught up in that again, but this time I didn't. This time I caught myself. This time I was aware. This time I saw it. This time I stepped back. This time I shifted into another dimension. And I'm holding it here. Cool. Because this means 
that pretty soon, if I can keep doing this, my reality is going to change. We have to hold the new vibration so that our physical world can change. And when we expect others to be the same version as we hold them to inside our mind, our job, if you will, is to realize that they're that version because we created them. And we have to work with the versions uh, that we created. We have to work with the versions in front of us. We have to work with the energies that present in us. Um, and we have to transcend that whole thing from inside. Now, um, ego, human, defensive, um, puts on a front, um, has a hierarchy, all kinds of stuff going on with it lately that I'm observing. Um, this is a tricky one because I had a conversation the other day where, um, and he knows I love him, one had gone into his ego uh, to battle his ego and had this whole thing going on. Um, the ego part of us, our human aspect, has a lot of resistance and a lot of I need to win this game kind of stuff going on inside. We don't need to win anything. We need to, we need to open our heart. We need to relax. We need to let go. We need to sleep. Go sleep. Your, your mind's got to relax. Your whole body's got to relax so you can upgrade in life. Um, don't forget nature. Don't forget going and playing with the universe and taking pictures of the clouds. And don't forget all of those things that are necessary that the human says, oh, I don't have time for. Um, so many things. And I think I'll come back and do a different video. Um, because I've just wandered off in little crop circles in this one right here. But who knows? Maybe this will help someone. Um, one thing is to understand. Uh, that our new realities do look very different. Um, they do not. They do not even resemble our old world, but yet they do. Um, but we have to be the one looking out there for the difference. We have to go. Wow, what's different today? I used to go to the coffee shop and just sit, and watch people for hours, and go. Wow, it's lighter outside. It's not as dense. People are not as unhappy as they used to be. Not realizing. I was in a different dimension because I changed. I was lighter. I pulled away. I cleared a lot of heavy-duty stuff. And I was the one that was happy. And the world out there was a different world. Because I opened my eyes and I looked and I saw and I allowed it to be. And so pay attention to the little things. Because you can't see New Earth you cannot see Earth 3. Bizarre is an understatement for Earth 3, which is kind of cool. It looks like a cartoon when it starts. Um, and a few other things. Uh, here, uh, we actually get to watch matter form. Uh, sometimes instantly, uh, you are aware that you're changing matter. And it has become quite cool to play. Um... Masters, yes, we are masters. Um, alchemists, yes, we are alchemists too. Magicians, yep, magic. Um, source, yep, you name it, we're all of these things. Um, but not uh, from a place other than from within our heart. Powerful is an understatement. We hold power within so, I'm sending out love to everybody, and I want to say thank you to everybody that's on this journey and focused on your ascension journey for you. It means a whole lot, and I tell everybody that I interact with um, how much it means, uh, because every time one truly commits everything they've got to this, uh, one, they start catapulting in another direction, and things start to go really fast. And it is a beautiful thing to be a part of. Um, so, and for those of you who I have the utter and complete honor of connecting with on a daily basis, um, it's been beautiful. And I am completely appreciative for the exchanges 
and they are magical uh, as well. I'm just enjoying uh, the many different exchanges and where everybody is now is beyond beautiful. So everybody keep holding light. Everybody keep anchoring and upgrading and and pull away and allow time for you. Allow time to just be. I've had to do this a uh, couple hours here and there too because I tend to um, forget me. I'm able to do this um, because when we hold light, uh, we don't tend to need much anymore. We're able to produce and do and a lot of things. Um, but now, and I will say this, and I'll do a different video on this, is that the amount of light that we hold um, is drying our bodies out. Our hair is singeing. There's a lot of electrical current running through us that's huge. Um, now, the brain, there is so much electromagnetic energy, photonic energy running through our body uh, that our brain will go into an actual e electrical burnout in mode. Um, it used to be, we just called it burnout. Our body was tired. We would collapse. We just couldn't take anymore. But now our bodies can go, 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 go. And they'll tell you when they need a break and, and when it needs sleep. But your body um, uh, will carry you through um, because it operates on light, uh, on love. And it doesn't need a whole lot. Yes, we eat like crazy fiends and because our body needs fuel. Um, that's changing a lot too. But the brain... I do a lot of computer work. I do a lot of, um, majority of my days are all doing um, software programs and digital stuff. And the amount of left brain, now, luckily with the unified mind and the unified heart, uh, then you're coming uh, from the unified field. Now, when we go through a compression and that disconnects, it's kind of hard. You can't really be creative a whole lot. And then if you get around others, that lowers your consciousness as well, um, interferes with the frequency that you're able to maintain. And so you have to uh, pull away for a lot of things and, and in order to do what you need to do. But going into electrical burnout, brain burnout, and as far as the electricity goes, there is so much energy running through our body now that will go through in an actual um, electromagnetic burnout. So I have found that my body is drying out profusely and needs water. I, the mermaid in me has kicked in huge. I have to keep going to water, 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 more water on my body. Um, so, and in my hair. And somebody else mentioned it the other day, and which is what, um, got my attention because I couldn't figure out what was going on, but this has been happening for the last year or so, and we don't put two and two together until uh, something catches our attention. But they made the remark their hair was singed or fried or burnt, too. And I went, oh, and then I saw. I'm like, cool. So, yep. Um, interesting. Understatement. Quantum. Understatement. Timeline jumping. Understatement. Exquisite understatement. Um, so, keep doing your realities. Keep letting go. Um, if you're out there pointing the finger at all of the old realities, you're hanging on to a grid work that's about to collapse huge. And you're uh, connecting yourself back into that old collective consciousness. So, I turn, refocus, refocus in every moment. Get your energy on creating from love. The higher self being, the light being, the star being, the crystalline being shares from a place of love. The human spreads the old stuff around and just keeps it uh, going on. So you want to pay attention to whether you are actually creating love. If you're sharing love, if you're being inspiring to others, if you're 
uplifting those around you and, and, and activating everything in light. Our job is to transform everything into light, not to put the attention on the old ways anymore. And uh, this will wreak havoc in the physical world. So pay attention. If your world is not blissfully magical, then that means that you're participating in something that is an old earth reality that needs to clear. And the faster you move it out, the faster you get okay, uh, the faster you get done. This is a big one. What are you not done with yet? What are you putting your energy into? Because until you get done with it, it's going to be your world. And then something will occur to cause you to be done. And so you'll want to get done on your own. Because we don't like uh, those universal 2x4s or 12x12s. And we don't like those boomerangs. And we don't like uh, those things that um, adjust for us. We like the adjustments that come in response and to the things that we've transmitted as transmitters and programmers of New Earth and the hologram. This is how we do it. So I love you, and I'll come back and talk about um, who knows what in the next one and get those other multidimensional mastery uh, course videos out in the next few days too. I love you guys. Y'all rock. And, and may you have an absolutely magnificent everything. Keep going. we got some awesome things coming. Bye.